Hello kids, so I heard you guys want to learn something about Shakespeare. <laughs> well too bad, this is a school project and I have to make a video, cause that's the only thing I'm good at, and I'm still bad at it. Look at this editing skills. Boom. Also I was going to make an animation video, but I realized I don't have a drawing tablet. Okay, that thing's like a thousand bucks. And also I can't draw. Shakespeare was the son of John Shakespeare and Mary Shakespeare. He was born in Santafer Avon, the place full of, uh, Shakespeare's. And he was baptized at Santafer Avon on 26th of April 1564. There's no evidence but most geographers... <laughs> There's no evidence, but most biographers agree that Shakespeare was probably educated at the King's New School. At age 18, Shakespeare married to 26-year-old Anna Ha- Anna? Anne. Anne! At age 18, Shakespeare was married to 26-year-old Han- Han- What is wrong with it? I can't even say a name. At age 18, Shakespeare was married to 26-years-old Anne Hathaway. Six months after they married, and gave birth to a daughter named Susanna. Susanna? An Hannah? <laughs> Susanna was baptized 26 of May, 1583, and the twin son Hamlet and daughter Judith was baptized 2nd of February, 1585. Hamlet later died of unknown cause at age 11. There are seven years of William Shakespeare's life where no record exists after the birth of his twins in 1585. <laughs> Scholar called this period the Lost Year. By the early 1590s, documents show William Shakespeare was managing partner in Lord Chamberlain's Man, an acting company in London with which he was connected for most of his career. The company changed its name to Kingsman following the crowning of King James I in 1603. Between 1590 to 1613, Shakespeare wrote at least 38 plays and collaborated on several more. The most famous Shakespeare play is Romeo and Juliet, and now is some found footage of the first Japanese version of Romeo and Juliet this is 100% real. In 1597, William Shakespeare bought a home in Stratford upon Avon. Recent study found Shakespeare don't stay off in his new house, and that shows he divided his time between Stratford and London. Most people believe that Shakespeare died in April 23rd, 1616. In his will, he left a large amount of his possession to his first daughter, and he gave his wife the second best bed. And that's about it, that's everything to know about Shakespeare, and uh, I don't know how to end this episode, so um... I'm so deep in